in this video, what I'd like to do is tell you a little bit about spacer bars and connectors and when you might want to use them. So imagine if you had a multiple strand bracelet similar to this. And a multiple strand bracelet quite often is going to lay just like that. They're going to cross over each other. They're going to be, you know, um, it, it's just a nice style and look. But sometimes people want to have something that is perfectly even. They want those, those layers to lay one right next to each other in a very consistent fashion. And when you want that, um, one way to accomplish that is with the use of a connector bar. Connector bars, this style here happens to be real thin, so you barely see it as you pass your beads through there, uh, pass your strands around that. This is a, a nice little um, sterling silver connector bar, spacer bar, excuse me. Uh, spacer bars come in lots of different sizes and shapes. This one happens to be nice and decorative. So you can see on the end of this, you've got a really cool decorative feature to it. And this one has a channel on the inside. So if you were to make an elastic bracelet, you could easily hide your knot right inside that channel. And this is what you would see on the top. And then with the spacers, this one has four holes, so you can have a four strand bracelet or necklace. Um, this is a sample of something we've done when we're making, let's say you have a two strand necklace or bracelet and you only want to have the, the one clasp. Uh, multiple strand clasps can be pretty expensive, but if you brought two strands onto a clasp, onto a, a connector like this, you only need the one clasp up on top. This is also a very common and important integral part of a rosary. So this particular piece here was designed just for a Catholic rosary. But you could also use other kinds of connectors for a rosary that don't necessarily have that same symbolism, but you can still have something that looks nice and, and interesting. Here's a very cool little spacer connector. Uh, imagine if you will, uh, I had a young lady come into the store recently and she wanted to make an elastic ring and have something on top. And I said, if you did, if you use these, you could attach the elastic on either side of this and have this cool little component right on the top of her ring. Connectors, spacers come in lots of different sizes and shapes. Here's a daisy design. And again, it, this is what you would see on the side of your bracelet or necklace, but you have this really interesting way to connect the three. We also have some in a Bali silver. So look at how cool that is. A little handmade Bali silver and Thai silver. This one happens to be for a three hole spacer. We have them for four hole spacers, as well, and even one for a six hole. So it adds a very interesting detail and component to your jewelry. This is also another style. Another way to connect multiple parts, kind of looks like our A. So here you can have um, seven different strands or you don't have to use all of them. You could use uh, any combination that you wanted. If you just wanted to use the two outside ones and the, and the middle one, make a perfect little way to finish a long necklace bracelet, you can even make an interesting pair of chandelier earrings with something like this. Here's another style. This one happens to be used when you're using multiple strands and you want it to end in just one point. So the strands would all come in on one side 
be connected right through the center there, and then you're able to use something like this in a, in a multiple strand type of situation. You can also get pretty darn fancy. Look at this one with um, garnet. So this three hole spacer bar has this beautiful detail all the way around. And it's a very, very interesting way to, to add a little interest on your pieces as well as create some uh, extra depth and extra, uh, extra style to, to what you're doing. This is another very interesting little type of connector. These two tubes are soldered together in the center and they allow for a, a just a different way to add interest. You could put them in line with each other and make a little wave or you could just put them and space your your two strands apart in a simpler way. I, I mentioned a little bit about multiple strand um, clasps and they can get pretty pricey. Here's another way that you can take multiple strands, th in this case five strands, and then just have one connector on the top. One side would go to your ring or your clasp and these uh, five strands, or you could use the two outside ones in the center one and have for a three strand bracelet or necklace. The thing to keep in mind is when you have uh, something like this, they're all gonna gather at a smaller area, but this allows you to use one clasp for multiple strands without it getting too busy on your clasp. They come in a variety of, of uh, materials. They, we also have some brass pieces. Now this just looks like a cute little detail, but if you wanted to put one connecting from each side, top and bottom, so to speak, you would have that in line for an interesting detail. You could have one connecting on the top and two on the sides. You can have two on each side. So there's at least three different ways to use this one piece. So your imagination is really the only thing holding you back from using different connectors and um, spacer bars. This spacer bar has a very interesting detail on the top. So this is what you would see on a bracelet or a necklace. And you have three holes that are spacing your three strands in a nice uniform fashion. Perfect for a bib necklace and a bib necklace is the style where you've seen it where one lays inside of the other. You put something like that on the ends to help keep those in line. So those are just a few ideas of how to use and when you can use and the types of different connectors and spacer bars available here at Isla's Originals in downtown Evanston, just north of Chicago. You can call the store at 847-328-4040, visit us on our website, islasoriginals.com, or keep um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll see more tips and tricks every week. Thank you so much for joining.